In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate in the chapels and churches of Vincentians the feast of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. This feast points to our own patronal feast in this country, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. It was in the apparitions of the Miraculous Medal that Our Lady said, I am the Immaculate Conception. And Bernadette of Lourdes was wearing the Miraculous Medal when she received those visions as well. As we prepare to celebrate Our Lady's Feast, let us take a moment now to acknowledge before the Lord and one another our sinfulness that we might turn to God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Gracious God, we rejoice in your great goodness through the Immaculate Virgin Mary, so ineffably united with your Son. As we are sustained by her motherly care, may we never lack for your providential love and with total faith always entrust ourselves to the mystery of your redemption. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the abyss and a heavy chain. He seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil, or Satan, and tied it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss, which he locked over it and sealed so that it could no longer lead the nations astray until the thousand years are completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not worshipped the beast or its image, nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands. They came to life and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Next, I saw a large white throne and the one who was sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence and there was no place for them. 
I saw the dead, the great and the lowly, standing before the throne, and scrolls were opened. Then another scroll was opened, the book of life. The dead were judged according to their deeds by what was written in the scrolls. The sea gave up its dead, then death and Hades gave up their dead. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the pool of fire. This pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. The word of the Lord. Here God lives among his people. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Here God lives among his people. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest, in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, Here, bless they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Bless the men whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. Here God is among his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. The reading from the book of Revelation that we heard proclaimed to us is a book in that short reading that we had that proclaimed a past event, present events, and future events. You 
kept hearing that term, a thousand years. That's, of course, a measure of time, but in symbolic language, a thousand years is an indeterminable amount of time, a long time, but no one knows exactly how long. When the serpent is bound, the great dragon that was spoken about, that recalls Christ's descent to the dead. I once heard a story, a historian was saying, you know, we have all sorts of churches that are named after different events in Jesus' life. The Church of the Resurrection, the Church of the Ascension, the Church of the Holy Spirit, no one's ever named a church the descent into hell. <laughs> but it recalls that moment because in that moment of resurrection of Jesus, the serpent is indeed bound because death can no longer reign for those in Christ Jesus. But that thousand year span is the present. That's where we live. In that time between the resurrection and his return. It is where eternity meets the present moment. It's always there. that sacred time of choice, that sacred time when we have the opportunity to write our names in the book to be opened, that scroll to have it sealed, broken open, called the book of life. Because if our names are not found there, well, remember the rest of the story. But as the good Baptist preacher once proclaimed, I read the end of the book and we win. We live in the time of intercession we live in the time of purification of our lives. We live in the time when Mary's intercession for us can change lives. The miraculous medal was initially to be called the Medal of the Immaculate Conception. But because of the miracles that became associated with its use, its name became what it is today. The miracle, the most important miracle, is lives changed after the way of Jesus. May her intercession help us along that way. With confidence in God's love and compassion, let us offer our prayers to our Almighty Father. For church leaders, may God grant them fortitude in their proclamation of the gospel in all corners of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For the salvation of the world, through the mercy of God, may we come to know the gospel message and the ways of righteousness and peace. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle with doubt, may God's love and light penetrate their hearts and minds. Let us pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life from this faith community. That God may open hearts to his invitation. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they soon live in perpetual joy and peace with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. God in heaven, hear our prayer, hear the prayers of your pilgrim people. We ask these through your Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. My sisters and brothers pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you this joyful sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May we who now rejoice in your goodness one day be able to offer you eternal thanks and praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son, and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride, without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb, who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so, in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, 
God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall.
Let us pray. Lord God, Lord our God, we have been refreshed by the sacraments of eternal redemption. As we rejoice at the feast of the Immaculate Mother of your Son, may we advance more quickly on our pilgrimage of faith. And as we have shared in the table of your kingdom here on earth, may we come to praise you together with her in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Go in the peace of Christ.